What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about car videos and how to get those videos to look just just good, right? Just epic. But now you ain't behind the scenes, trust me, these things don't just happen. No shade to Gerald, but G's don't go easy when you try to eat up your boots in a rap. I read that contract, you sent me to sign, but That's what we're gonna work on today. By the way, if you guys are new here, please consider subscribing. But anyways, let's get started with this video. Alright guys, so in this video I'm going to try to break down any possible way from tips, tricks, and visuals on how to go about them and how to get the best out of these car videos. So the first tip that I can tell you guys is to start off by filming the car, get all the details that you possibly can. So what I mean by that is get the wheels, get the if it has bags, get the car dropping. If it's super low, just make sure you get the detail of that, the rim. Just get any type of detail, you name it. Obviously wide shots of the car as well. Make sure there's a nice background so it gives the car a more pleasing look. And on top of that if you guys want to make the video just this much better you have to get roller shots that's one thing that i see a lot of people don't do roller shots just give that video just a better feel a better look you know it's just something that i i can't stress more than enough to to go after these shots now they are a little bit dangerous at times like such as the super video that you guys watch that one i was sitting in the back of my friend's trunk and that was kind of sketchy but he wasn't going as fast so a tip that i can do with that is just know that the driver does not have to be going super fast to give it that intense feel. You can make him go 30 to 40 miles per hour, which is not super fast. And in post, you can actually speed it up by 30 or 40 percent. So it's going to make the car seem like it's going a lot faster. In order to make this work, though, you have to make sure there's no one walking around or there's other cars driving because then you're going to see the difference. So you got to make sure the car is all on its own. The next shot that I would encourage for you guys to get, and I got to make this fast, it's getting hot. You probably see my forehead shining la is not the place man i'm telling you but um the drone shots you need to have drone shots in your videos if you don't own a drone then this is excluded but if you do have a drone always bring it there's nothing like getting that aerial perspective of the car now i do want to mention that not all clips have to be fast it all depends on the car a subaru is meant to have that type of feel the next shot that you guys can get just to level up on that video is one b-roll shot it could be the tree it could just be a drone of the scenery just one shot b-roll that does not include the car always helps make the video that much better now this next shot you don't always have to get again it just more of depends if you feel like it's necessary but i always do it anyway just to make sure you have more than not enough is get the driver inside so get him driving get him looking in the rear view mirror get him just you know shifting gears if it's in manual just get anything possible get details of his eyes like getting you know zoned in as he's driving get anything that you can inside while he's driving that always helps you can get behind the seat as i did facing like the road these shots are always good to have and if you need to add them you have the shots now another shot you guys can get is have the car pass you that's always good you know you can also do a tracking one get outside the car maybe do a gimbal shot as you're pushing in as you guys saw and the car just passes get creative don't do the simple you want to go a little bit extra just look around see what you can implement you know get between trees and like push in anything that gives it that little that extra look if you just film the car that's standard everyone does that so try to look around for different ways to implement the car and make the visual look pleasing the next step once you guys get the visuals you guys get all those shots out the way will be sound effects now for me i didn't take my audio recorder that day so for me i had to look online it was very hard to find the right sound effect so if you guys can't take an audio recorder on set and make sure you guys film the car that always gives it a better look for the most part when you're filming the roller shots and you incorporate the sound effect it feels like you're there with the car so sound effects is always important just make sure if you guys do have an audio recorder take that if not you're gonna be spending a lot of hours just trying to find that sound that matches that car and the last thing that i can add on to this is the music part but the music will definitely make or break your video i want to go with more of a fast and the furious type of look but of course it all depends on what you guys are trying to go for normally hip-hop tends to work but again it just depends what type of car different cars require different music just know that and that's pretty much it guys that's how i normally go about filming for cars i used to do them a lot but now i shoot a lot of music videos the good thing is those car visuals that I was doing a lot back then, I'm able to provide them now in my music videos because there's a lot of artists that want to get shot driving in the car or you know just having a car implemented. So it allows me to know what kind of B-roll shots to go for. So hopefully this video can help you guys on the next car video you guys end up shooting. If you guys like this video, drop it a like. Comment if you guys have any additional questions. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. I will always appreciate that. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.
get it, I reinvest. People wanna talk that talk in reality. You have not seen me in action. You think the come up comes overnight. You ain't behind the scenes. Trust me, these things don't just happen. No shade to Gerald, but G's don't come easy when you tryna eat up your lips and around. I read that contract you sent me to sign, but excuse me, I can't help myself. I'm just laughing. Hey, you tryna go out a piece of my pie, and I asked you politely, what's in this room? I see you, Alex. You a fucking fool for this shit. Appreciate that one. S. I think it's time to put them in their place. I'ma have to set them straight. You don't know me. You don't know where I'm from or what I had to do to get this play. Hey, let me paint a picture. Everybody dissing. Acting like it wasn't cool to listen. Now look at